So what is spot price and what are units of measure that, you know, are used in determining the value of silver or gold? How is the value of an ounce of silver or gold determined today? If you're interested in learning more in this week's Stacking 101 class, then stay tuned. Now, if you've been stacking silver or are interested in stacking silver or gold or investing in silver or gold, then you probably should understand how the metals are valued on a day-to-day -day basis and where to find the most accurate information. I'm not going to go through the history of silver or gold you know, as money or how silver and gold have historically been valued during a time gone past in today's video. I want to focus on how precious metals that we own or are interested in owning today are valued on the market. So what is spot price? Well, Atmex.com tells us that the spot price of silver in this example is the current price that one unit of silver can be bought and sold for immediate delivery. In other words, the spot price of silver is the price of silver today, and the same applies to gold or platinum. Like other financial assets such as stocks, bonds, currencies, and other commodities, the spot price of silver does fluctuate throughout the week. Unlike a stock, which does have a stock ticker symbol that we can follow, the price of silver is often calculated from what's called a futures contract price on the Commodities Exchange or the COMEX. A futures contract is where things get really fuzzy for silver stackers. It's uh, you know, the manipulation that you hear people talking about. A futures contract is a contract for delivery of silver at a future date, okay? And as a result, calculations are made to the futures price, which determines the spot price or the current price of silver today. So what is one unit of silver and which units are used when measuring the weight of silver commonly? Okay, let's get into that. So depending on the country that you are from, the silver price is typically quoted in troy ounces, uh, could be quoted in grams or even kilos. Fortunately, it is pretty easy to convert the silver price from one unit to the other uh, with the following conversion table. And uh, I'll try to post that in the video description section if YouTube will allow me, but I'll break it down real quick. Um, the United States, okay, let's start here. The silver price is typically quoted as a troy ounce. If the silver price were 25 US dollars, right, that's the current spot price per troy ounce, and you wanted to convert the price to kilos, you would simply take that $25 price and multiply it by 32.150743. Okay, I'll have that in the description section. And by multiplying 25 by 32.150743, you get roughly $804 per kilo of silver. Now, similarly, if you wanted to convert the price to grams, you would take the $25 and divide that by 31.103478 to get roughly 80 cents per gram as the spot price of silver in grams. Okay, I'll have that all down in the video description section for you. Now, speaking of ounces, this is uh, something pretty important, especially for new stackers, as not all ounces are the same. Okay, I may I may murder this because there's some French uh, pronunciation coming up, but when people say ounce in their day-to-day -day lives, they are typically referring to the avoir du poids ounce, which is an ancient Roman unit of measurement of approximately 28.3 grams. If I pronounce that wrong, then uh, please make sure to tell me all about my poor grammar, spelling, or punctuation in the comments section because there's nothing more that I, you know, love to read and respond to in the comments section than, you know, YouTube grammar Karen. So I'm doing my best here, right? So a troy ounce, on the other hand, is a unit of measurement used for precious metals dating back to the Middle Ages uh, in Troy, France, or Troyes, France. Once more, uh, you know, don't hold it against me. A troy ounce is heavier, however, than an avoir du poids ounce and weighs approximately 31.1 grams. So one is 28.3 grams, the standard ounce, and the troy ounce is 31.1 grams. Um, on my scale, which does measure regular ounces, the cheap scale that I've got, it's usually an ounce of silver, right? And a troy ounce of silver will register as 1.1 on that scale. I actually need to get a better scale. It's something I need to do. Now, as an investor, I should note that when the silver price or the gold price or platinum price, whatever, is quoted in ounces, 
then an ounce does refer to a troy ounce and not that uh, voie du bois ounce that I mentioned. In addition, um, the most popular silver coins and silver bars, such as the silver American Eagle, the silver Maple Leaf, and uh, uh, you know silver bars, they're all weighted in troy ounces and will state their weight typically on the product. Okay, you're going to see one ounce, five ounce, ten ounce. Now, the same applies to gold, okay? That measurement is going to be on there, and it's in troy ounces. So how is silver priced in different currencies? That's another question I get asked. Now, whether you live in the United States, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, Australia, or any other part of the world, there will likely be demand for silver in your country. I myself have lived in other countries and seen gold markets. Uh, silver or gold, I'm just using silver as an example here once more, will have the same spot price in different countries around the world uh, that it does here in the United States. The only thing that really changes is the, is, is the currency that the spot price is actually quoted in. Now, fortunately, if you have the spot price of silver in one currency, it's also easy to calculate the spot price in another currency if you have an exchange rate, at least most currencies, because, you know, some of them are pretty crazy, like they go, there's so many zeros attached to it, like uh, being a trillionaire in Zimbabwe, for instance, okay? But let's say the silver price is 25 US dollars again, and the euro, United States dollar exchange rate, happens to be 1.17 at the time. To calculate the silver spot price in euros, you would simply take that $25 and divide it by 1.17. 1.17 to arrive at 21.37 euros. Okay, so simple math there, doing the conversion between euros and dollars. So finally, what makes silver valuable? Okay, this is really important. At over $23 an ounce in 2023, silver by weight is still one of the most expensive metals in the world, though it is actually quite cheap compared to gold and the platinum group metals. So why do investors value silver so highly then? And the reason is demand. The US dollar by many can be viewed as just a piece of paper or digits on a computer screen, okay? It can be printed to infinity. It constantly loses buying power. That's called inflation. Where silver, you know, some people, the people who don't like it may just say it's a shiny piece of metal. However, that shiny piece of metal generally maintains its value over time, whether it's gold or silver. The U.S. dollar has value because people around the world want it, and they also view it as valuable. Without this global demand, the U.S. dollar would also have no value, okay? Similarly, countries and societies around the world, they want silver, okay? This demand is what drives the price of silver, whether it be for industrial applications, which is the primary use of silver in today's day and age, uh, or for, you know, maybe bullion, like we like to buy, or jewelry, uh, there's all kinds of other industrial applications. The list goes on and on for silver. The demand for silver began at the dawn of civilization. And since silver must be extracted from the earth and cannot be manufactured, people have used precious metals like gold and silver to store their wealth in, uh, you know, an object, a tangible object, something you can hold in your hand. It's yours that has held its wealth over time. This practice has continued throughout history, and it still goes on today. That's why you're here. That's why I'm doing this, okay? I'm trying to protect my wealth, and I have always struggled saving cash. There's just something out there that always needs to happen, right? The roof needs to be replaced. The fence needs to be replaced. The kids need new shoes, this, that, right? Cash can go in any direction in my household, but once I put it in metals, uh, with the exception of two times in six years, uh, you know, I haven't had to sell any of it. So, Spot price is important, all right? With silver being traded on the global market with no single country controlling it, uh, you've got all these currencies out there. You need to know about spot price and how to calculate it. So that's gonna wrap up my second video in the Silver 101 or Stacking 101 series, however you wanna look at it. I'll continue with this series every Thursday, all right? And next week, we're gonna begin discussing buying and selling physical silver with tips from those who have been doing it for years. This next video is going to be focused on buying local at coin shops and some other options. And then in the following video, we'll talk about doing it online. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please consider leaving a comment and a like. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to reading your comments and responding. <clears throat> Losing my voice here. Until next time, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.